Hi friends, so today we're at the park. Me and my children, Mackenzie and Donald, came to the creek with our dogs, which are overstimulated right now. There's Zeus and there's Mogwai. But while we were here, we thought it'd be fun to compare which rock might make the biggest splash. Which rock is the smallest rock? See it? Oh, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that, Donald. Which rock is the biggest rock? Now which rock is the smallest rock? So Mackenzie is going to drop the smallest rock and let's see what splash it makes. Whoa. Now, which rock do you guys think will make the biggest splash? The one that Donald has? Hold it up. Or the one that Mackenzie has. Donald, drop your rock and let's see. Whoa, did that touch your feet? Yeah. No, it touched Mackenzie's feet. All right, do you guys think that Mackenzie's rock will splash up higher than her feet or lower? Let's see, let's count it down. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Whoa, nice. did you guys get wet? Yes. Did you get wet, Donald? So which rock made the biggest splash? <laughs> which rock made the biggest splash? The biggest. the biggest. And which rock made the smallest splash? The smallest. So do you guys think that if we dropped different rocks, we would get similar splashes? No. It could happen depending on the size of I wonder what other types of things we could drop into the water and measure the splashes. You guys at home can try experiments like these when you're out with your parents, if they say it's okay. You should never go by any type of water without an adult. Stay healthy, friends. Bye.